In this tutorial, we'll learn how to add a hole for the arm. Let's jump to the right view and let's add Shift A to add and let's add a circle and let's align it to the view and maybe we need eight vertices. So just type eight vertices and now now we have this circle, scale it down and make it very small and let's jump to the front view and let's move it a bit to the right just like that and G and take it down a bit and let's go back to the right view scale it more and G to move it and let's put it maybe right here scale it more keep put your eyes on this image to see how much the size how much the size that you want let's hit G and move it a bit Let's, let's hit his Z and go to wireframe and let's see where to locate this one hit key and put it right here and S and scale it a bit just like that let's move it down a bit yeah so now that's cool after that let's select this piece and jump back to the right view and let's hit tab to the edit mode and let's go to mesh by the way, you need to select this, the chest, with this circle. So hold shift and grab this one. Let's go back again to the right view. And let's tap to the edit mode. And go to mesh. And use knife project. And project this circle. Just hit click. And it should be projected. And let's go and let's see what we got so far. As you see, we just projected the circle on this uh, piece. After the projection operation, now we need to fix the vertices. So let's switch to vertex mode and let's see now what can we do. Well, this one, we have to create an edge to support this vertex. We can take this vertex, hit G twice and slide it and merge it. But just make sure to activate auto merge here. What about uh, this one right here? You can slide this, hit G twice and slide it. And let's see what else we can do here. Let's support this corner. Grab this one, G twice and slide it and weld it. And what about this vertex right here? Let's see what we can do for this one. Well, I will take this G twice and weld it just like that. And for this one, weld this one with with this vertex. And this edge with this vertex, grab this vertex, G twice and slide it. And uh, I will weld this vertex with this one and take this and weld it just like that. Well, so that's nice. Let's see what else we can do here. Let's maybe uh, grab this vertex and this one and hit J to make a connection and grab this G twice and slide it up a bit and let's delete this H we don't need it anymore control X and this one control X this one maybe control X sorry sorry we sorry I just made a mistake we need these we need these edges but uh, let's see what else we can do here Let's delete the faces because we don't need these faces. XF to delete it. Now we got this shape right here. Now we got this shape. Switch to the vertex mode and let's see now how can we tweak this result further. I will take this and this G twice and weld them with this side and I will dissolve this edge, control X and let's see what else we can do here dissolve this one, control X and this one now we got a perfect cylinder here let's switch to edge mode and hit alt and select all of these edges maybe we got some problem here we got some vertex here causing a problem, G twice and slide it and weld it now it's perfect 
Switch to edge mode, alt click to select the entire edge loop, hit I for inset, hit E for extrude and S to scale it, just like that, and then hit E and take the result to the X axis, maybe right here, and let's hit E again and take it further, just like that. Now we got something right here. Let's turn on the subdivision surface temporarily and let's see what else we can do here. I will select all of these faces, alt click and hit S and scale them down. So just hit S to scale this result. As you see now when I making when I scaling the scale is working with all direction. I just need to scale to the Z and Y and I need to ignore the X. To ignore the X, just hit Shift X to ignore it. And now I just scaling to the Y and Z. So I need to scale it a bit just like that. And let's grab this edge and Control B for bevel and I need to bevel it and add three edges as a support. And let's grab this one Control B for bevel and let's add the three edges and let's delete this one that I created. Control X to delete it. And now let's activate the subdivision. And now I got something beautiful right here. Let's come to the other side and let's see what we got. I got this result. And it is nice and very beautiful. We got some weird shading here because we because uh, uh, we because we should fix some vertices. Let's see what we can do here. I have this edge and when I delete this edge, I now have an ingon. It's not quad. So I need to fix this problem. And I got the same problem right here. Well, to fix this, I will uh, grab this vertex and this one and hit J to merge this with this one. The same thing maybe for this side, grab this and grab this vertex, hit J to merge them. Yeah, that's not going to affect the circle. Now I got nice result here. Let's slide this a bit, G twice and slide it just like that. Maybe I need to add an edge right here to support this area. Let's hit K to activate the knife tool. Put the knife right here on this vertex and left click from this vertex to this edge right here. If you want to put it in the center, just hold control and the knife tool will add the other point exactly in the center of this edge. Confirm the other cut and hit enter. There we go. Well, now let's see what else we can do here. We got weird point here. Let's uh, use the knife tool and let's create another cut here. Hit enter to confirm it. And let's take this down. Hit K to active the knife tool and cut from this point almost right here and hit enter. And what about this edge? Let's grab this, control X to dissolve it. And maybe we need to dissolve this one. Let's see what we can do with this. Well, we can dissolve it. Or maybe we can leave it in the, in the same place. Well, I can dissolve it, but uh, I will uh, add another A here to support this one. So control R on this side to add an edge loop here and I will connect this with this so how to connect them switch to vertex mode grab this vertex that exists right here I will turn the subdivision off just to see it and grab this one hold shift to grab this and hit J and the the join operation will create an edge across this one switch to the edge mode grab this control X to dissolve it so we don't need it anymore let's see what else we can do here Maybe I need to take this edge down, G twice. 
and slide this right here and let's grab this vertex key twice and slide it to the side the same thing here slide this right here and let's take this edge and this one key twice and take it down just like that so let's activate the subdivision surface let's see the results now I have a better result maybe well what about this side can we support it can we support this area and if we do what's uh, what we will get let's slide this edge get wise and move it maybe right here and uh, maybe I need to let's see what we can do for this one let's take this out key and take it out a bit well I will grab these edges all right so let's select this edge alt click and so we just selected this edge loop hold control and grab this and this and this one all the way down right here so when you grab all of these edges hit control B for bevel and let's see the result from this side control B and let's bevel this a bit I think this result is nice let's move this edge a bit grab this and this and key twice and slide it a bit in the middle let's see what else we can do here let's take these th three edges out a bit now we have nice edge if you want you can take this farther to in to introduce this edge more maybe you can grab these three vertices and hit key and move them just a bit just like that yeah I think that's gonna be better all right let's see what about this side let's turn off the subdivision surface and maybe I need to push this just a bit out maybe this face hit key and move it a bit and let's take this one and move it a bit key see what else we can do here let's activate subdivision well I think that's better after you complete everything and be satisfied you can tap to the object mode and you can grab this and delete it if you want but you can use it for the neck so in the next tutorial we will learn how to create a hole right here for the neck so see you next